Any major injury or illness may result in an insufficient amount of oxygen reaching the organs and tissues of the body. The Emergency Medical Journal states that for critically ill patients, high concentration oxygen should be administered immediately. Emergency oxygen should be administered to anyone suffering a major injury or illness. If oxygen levels drop and continue to be low, the result can be brain damage, organ failure, and even death. The 2010 American Heart Association guidelines for cardiopulmonary resuscitation and emergency cardiovascular care science state that oxygen should be administered to patients with breathlessness, signs of heart failure, shock, or an arterial oxyhemoglobin saturation. The most common symptom prompting diagnosis of acute coronary syndrome is chest pain, often radiating down the left arm or angle of the jaw, pressure-like in character, and associated with nausea and sweating. The 2010 guidelines also state that oxygen should be provided to all patients with severe asthma, even those with normal oxygenation. Patients with severe life-threatening asthma require urgent and aggressive treatment with simultaneous administration of oxygen. The 2010 American Heart Association guidelines for cardiopulmonary resuscitation and emergency cardiovascular care science state that victims of a stroke should receive emergency oxygen. Both out-of-hospital and in-hospital medical personnel should administer supplemental oxygen to stroke patients. The guidelines state that oxygen will be needed for extended CPR. Rescue breaths are not as important as chest compressions because the oxygen level in the blood remains adequate for the first several minutes after cardiac arrest. However, at some time during prolonged CPR, supplementary oxygen with assisted ventilation is necessary. Your oxygen units are refilled and maintained by Life Safe Services, providing quality you can count on in an emergency. Your AED should also be inspected and maintained on a regular basis. LifeSafe can also inspect, provide medical direction, update and maintain your AED to ensure your medical equipment is ready when it is critically needed. During cardiac arrest, emergency oxygen and AEDs are best used in conjunction with each other. Accordingly, LifeSafe provides inspection for both your AEDs and oxygen. Servicing both your units together provides price benefits and assures reliability and compliance of your life-saving equipment. The most common use of oxygen is on a conscious breathing patient. Three scenarios you may encounter are a patient that is conscious and breathing, a victim that is unconscious and breathing, and an unconscious and not breathing victim. Administering emergency oxygen to a conscious patient. First, survey the scene. Do not approach the patient unless it's safe. Second, survey the victim. Does the patient need help? Third, activate 911. Send someone to get emergency oxygen and an AED. Introduce yourself and request consent to help. Administer oxygen. Activate the oxygen flow to the mask. Some units are equipped with an easy on-off handle. Listen or feel for oxygen flowing through the mask. Assist the victim with the mask. If the patient is able, instruct them to hold the mask to their mouth and nose, assuring a tight seal. The patient should breathe normally as possible. Perform a head-to-toe exam. Provide first aid if needed and care for shock. Continue to assess the victim until relieved by proper medical care. Emergency oxygen to an unconscious breathing patient. Survey the scene. Do not approach unless it is safe. Survey the victim. Do they need help? Activate 911. Send someone to get emergency oxygen and an AED. Introduce yourself and if unconscious, it's considered implied consent. Attempt to wake the victim. If the victim is breathing regularly and you do not suspect a spinal injury, place the patient in the recovery position. Administer oxygen. Activate the oxygen flow to the mask. Some units are equipped with an easy on-off handle. Listen or feel for oxygen through the mask. Place the oxygen mask over the patient's nose and mouth, forming a tight seal. 
Do not use the strap behind the head if you suspect head, neck, or back injury. Provide first aid if needed, care for shock, and continue to assess the victim. Emergency oxygen to an unconscious, non-breathing patient. Survey the scene. Do not approach the victim unless it is safe. Survey the victim. Do they need help? Activate 911. Send someone to get the emergency oxygen and AED. We can assume implied consent if the patient is unconscious. Attempt to wake the victim. If the patient is not breathing regularly, begin chest compressions. If the victim is not breathing, place the heel of your hand in the middle of his chest, put the other hand on top of the first with your fingers interlaced, and compress the chest at least two inches. Allow the chest to completely rise before the next compression. Compress the chest at a rate of about 100 pushes per minute. If you are not trained in CPR, continue this until more trained help arrives. If there is an additional rescuer, have them place the oxygen mask over the patient's nose and mouth. Placing the mask over the patient's mouth without breathing is called passive oxygen. Passive oxygen has been shown in early studies to increase the chance of survival. If you have been trained in CPR, review your CPR manual. If you have not been trained in CPR, continue with chest compressions. Please take note, 2010 guidelines have been implemented.